I was looking through Twitchy today, and I found a reference to a tweet by the Vaughnet Nate Silver of 538. And you have to kind of read between the lines, but if you do, and you look at his tweet, it's pretty clear that he's announcing that Joe Biden is going to lose the election in November. A little background. I think it was like two, maybe three weeks ago, I came across this article by Nate Silver, and he was looking at the Electoral College and doing his usual analysis, his crack analysis. And he was predicting that Joe Biden would carry the Electoral College and become president of the United States with the odds of about 77, 78 percent. So I thought that, that's interesting. I wonder what he was predicting four years ago. So I went back and I looked at his final prediction on the Electoral College right before the election. It was either late October, early November 2016. And it was the same. He had predicted that Hillary Clinton would carry the Electoral College about 77, 78 percent chance. Hillary Clinton would become president of the United States. And I thought that was really interesting and also telling, because the week before the election, he gave Hillary Clinton a 77, 78 percent chance of winning. What about August? Because this was right after the Democratic convention in, in August. And he was giving basically Donald Trump, if you look at it from the flip side, uh, roughly a 25 percent chance of winning, which he had only given him in late October, early November in 2016. And usually you would consider that, you know, Trump would get even stronger as the election closes. Usually things get tighter. So that my reading of this was that Trump was actually doing better than he was in 2016. Behold, I run across this tweet from Nate Silver from about six days ago. And if, if you look at it, keeping in mind what he was predicting about a month ago in August, or three weeks ago. Now he's giving Biden's chance of winning the Electoral College, and he lists it by percentage of votes. In other words, if Biden wins the popular vote by up to 1%, he's got about a 6% chance of becoming president. Up to 2 points, or 2%, he's got about a fifth of a percent chance, about 22%. If he wins by up to three points, he's still got under a 50% chance. He's got to win between three or more points to actually have the odds in his favor. Now, you have to keep in mind that in 2016, Hillary won by about two or 2.1%, which would put her somewhere in this range, closer, closer to 22% than 46%. And of course, she did lose. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, what's Nate Silver telling us? Now, there's a longer article in 538 which goes into all this, and of course, he, you, know, you have to read between the lines of that. But if you look at this as the bottom line, the conclusion I would draw from this is what Nate Silver is telling us is Joe Biden's going to lose. Because what he's saying basically is that Joe Biden has to run a better campaign. Joe Biden has to carry more popular votes than Hillary Clinton did four years ago. And I don't think that that's very likely. I mean, you may argue that, you know, Hillary Clinton will, you know, didn't run that great a campaign. But the idea that Joe Biden's running a better one, sitting in his basement, walking around making gaffes right and left, inconsistencies, he's against fracking, he's for fracking, uh, he's against a, a law mandating masks, he's for one. Uh, it's just just beyond me. Uh, you know, one of the, the criticisms of Hillary was she wasn't campaigning very hard. Well, you know, you're telling me Joe Biden's campaigning harder? Joe Biden's going to more places than Hillary Clinton went? You know, Hillary Clinton had support from Hollywood stars. You know, Joe Biden's appearing with, what, Cardi B? Uh, you know, I don't think that these things are, are comparable. As bad a campaign as Hillary ran, I think Joe's campaign is even worse. And if you look at the something like Rasmussen, which has Trump's been steadily since last Friday at 50 percent or higher in his approval ratings, which is about five points more than he was four years ago. And if you look at the polls about African-American voting and things like that, lack of support for Kamala Harris, you know, I would conclude that Joe Biden's in a bigger hall than Hillary Clinton was. And if you go according to what Nate Silver is telling us, that Biden has to win by at least three points, 
somewhere between three and four points to have a better than even chance of winning the election. I think what basically Nate Silver is telling us the other day is that Joe Biden is going to lose, which is something I've said in innumerable videos over about the last month, maybe even longer. I mean, Joe Biden is going to lose. I think the only thing that's really in play right now is, does Joe Biden just get defeated? Is this going to be like 1968 when Richard Nixon beat Hubert Humphrey? Or is it going to be like 1972 when Richard Nixon slaughtered George McGovern? I think that's where we're at now. We're somewhere between the 68 scenario and the 72 scenario. It's just a question of how big a defeat did the Democrats suffer? And you know, they're not going to come right out and say that. They're never going to admit that because if they did that. Obviously, nobody would show up at the polls. People wouldn't bother to vote if they knew they were going to lose. So they have to keep people agitated. They have to keep people wanting to go to the polls. But if you look at somebody like Silver and you look at the numbers that he's giving us, no matter how he portrays them, no matter how he slants them, no matter how he spins them, these numbers right here tell me that Joe Biden is going to lose. And he's going to lose probably pretty big. So what do you think? Let me know in a comment. Give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. And until the next time, confront the resistance and keep fighting.